Hey everybody, I'm Kirby, this is Kirby Meets Audio, and today we're going to talk about tools. Yep. First I want to talk about the three main tools you need to get started. Uh, I get a lot of comments on my build videos with people saying they wish they had my tools so they could build the stuff that I make. Well, I started with these three tools. I know a lot of YouTubers talk about this stuff and I don't want to harp on it for too long, but uh, there's all types of ways to build all types of stuff with all types of tools. Don't need to use the stuff that I use in my build videos. And this is just a little, little sampling to get you started. So these are literally the three tools I used when I built my first speaker. Um, first up, we got the uh, framing square. Yep. That's used in conjunction with a circular saw. This one's not too heavy, a little heavy, not too bad. And electric drill. Yeah, not, not, not too much stuff. So you can build a bunch of different types of speakers using just these three tools. Um, I actually built a speaker in one of my build videos using these exact tools a few months ago. Uh, you can check out that link, put it right up there. So this might seem a little obvious, but you'll use the drill to drill holes. You'll use the circular saw to cut the wood and you'll use the framing square to get a straight cut from the circular saw. That's, yeah, that's basically it. So you will need a few other things like drill bits and clamps and wood glue and stuff like that. But these are like the three uh, main, the main guys, the main players in, the, in all this action. With maybe the exception of my router and router table, all the other tools in my shop are just an easier or more precise version of these tools right here. Pretty much anything I can do with my miter saw or table saw, I can do with my circular saw and framing square. Same goes with the drill press and my electric drill. Just a little harder. Takes more time. Definitely takes more time. You're trading money for time. This is basically what you're doing with all the other tools in your shop. All right, now I wanna talk about other tools that you either need or will make your job a lot easier uh, when it comes to specifically making or building speakers. Um, and I'll have links to everything I talk about in this video in the description down below. All right. All right, first up, a router. This one has my router table plate still on it, um, but yeah, router's a router. You can either use a trim router or a plunge router, bigger guy like this. Um, either way, they work depending on what you're trying to do. Little bigger jobs, you probably want to go with a, a bigger tool. Routers are great for chamfering an edge or putting a round over on an edge, uh, trim routing. Um, yeah, they're also great for cutting holes, especially speaker holes, using the next tool. This is a circle jig. Um, or a Jasper jig, uh, depending on what brand you get. Um, it is used in conjunction with a router. Basically just fits around the end of a router like that, kind of like the table that's on here right now. Um, and you use a pin, the router circles around a pin and you cut a precise hole. It's a great tool. Uh, it's really nice because that means you don't have to have a whole bunch of hole saws. Um, hole saws can get kind of expensive. You just buy one tool and you're good to go. Although you do need the router, so I guess it depends on what tools you already have. All right, next up, we got clamps. Um, pretty obvious, but real important. Um, it's hard to make a box without clamps. Um, I'm sh it can be done. Get some bricks. I definitely started out with bricks or big books and stuff like that. Um, but the old adage definitely holds true with clamps. You never have enough. Um, one trick, I think Jimmy Dur... Dur <clears throat> never said his last name loud. Durista? Duresta? Durista. Duresta. Jimmy Duresta. <clears throat> one trick I... <laughs> chick. <sighs> One trick I think I heard from Jimmy Duresta was uh, every time you go to the big home improvement store, um, uh, add a clamp to your cart. Uh, that way you'll, your clamp collection will grow pretty quickly. Uh, it, it is kind of difficult to like pop down hundreds of dollars on a bunch of clamps at once, but uh, just adding one every once in a while isn't too bad. They're not 
they're pretty expensive once you realize how many you need, but um, individually, I think it's like between 10 and 20 bucks, depending on the size. Not too bad. All right, that's needed though. Get a bunch of them. All right, last but certainly not least is electric sander. This is, uh, this is important. Um, depending on how much time you have uh, and how much upper body strength you either have or you want to have, uh, electric sander, it saves the day. Um, I hate sanding. I don't know many people who do like sanding. Electric sander makes it much easier. So this is a uh, finishing sander. There's also uh, circular sanders, random orbit sanders, belt sanders. Here's a, a random orbit sander. That, that, that's a good, this is a good one here. This takes off a bunch of material. Um, this is obviously finishing less material. Yeah, sanders. Sanders are good. All right, I think that's it. So this video has mostly been about the tools needed to build the enclosure for a speaker, not about tools needed to design a speaker. Um, that's a whole other video that I'll probably do someday. So this is the stuff I use. What do you guys use? Um, let me know down in the comments. Get active. Hey, I got shirts. Uh, 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 shirts. All right, whatever. I got shirts. Um, go check them out on my Patreon page. I'll put a link down there. I've also got build plans, build kits, uh, a bunch of speaker building information over on my website, kmakits.com. Go check that out. Appreciate everyone that, that helped support me in this channel through getting my plans or my kits forever in your debt. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And to all you for watching me ramble about stupid stuff. <laughs> I guess it's not stupid, you're, you're watching this and if you've gotten this far, Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Let's take a look at the shirt again. Hope you can see it. Once again, turn the walk away. I don't need to. Gotta turn off the camera. Turn off the audio.